Là, pour vous montrer. But my language, the visible language, is really like I take it as a language. So it can be, it can be read, really, and it can be listened as a language who, who, that gives all the information. So the plastic yeah. visible language tells the information. But of course, it's nice to to speak a little bit about the work. As an artist, you you try to to be as conscious as possible, to find the way of dealing with the world. And I, I, uh, I choose to be an artist, not to have another profession, not to be in the machine of society and of people working and being in competition to have career, to become better, to prove themselves, to and I, I become like an artist to, to find a situation where I can be as reflective as possible. So it's not to become a big artist, not to become rich or famous, but uh, to find a position where I can explore the potential of, the, of, of a, like a more spiritual mentality. You have two uh, different materials and different concepts. Yeah. Why? It is really a mixture because I, I want not to focus on like a materialized object. I try to get out of the object. I speak about open body of art, where you don't see the borders, where the peace and the atmosphere and the microclimate around becomes the, the environment where you can really be in direct contact with the information. And that's why I, ch I choose different concepts, different types of sites. It doesn't matter. The image is what can be seen by the eye and can be felt with all the other sense organs to be in touch. And I, I look especially for this type of white, light uh, material, the medical material to care, also the industrial material that you you don't think about money, you don't have the idea of a patina of art. No, there is no try to seduce you with the idea, oh, it's a piece of art and then people already get a little bit satisfied. So I do a bit like, in English, I don't know the word, like a bit en béton, to, to look for material that people don't like to have in their living room, that they don't trust. To, to be eternal, and, and this is like a kind of paradox because I really, uh, with my teams, I'm really into uh, try to express a vision about philosophical uh, approach to life, life and that, and how we deal and how we can visualize the relationship between all the elements and also from the point of view of the consciousness. And that's why I, I, I have this white and, and, and this real and cheap and easy things, but the combination and then to make the atmosphere tells you directly that I want to be in a mentality, in a spiritual mentality, that I want to be beyond the material problem. Is it a piece of art? Is it a good piece of art? No, there is a kind of fullness in the atmosphere that you are totally into a world where there's a directive to the soul, let's say. Yeah. And can you see me some more on your video works? It's different. Uh, it's also image, but because you have the, you live it, a piece of art, so you, you always take time, even if, you, if it's one element, you stay some moments. You, you have your first look, then you think about you. You want to see it back. So you take time. It, there is a happening. 
in all the stages from a, a thing that you have seen, you open your eye, it comes in, then there is the whole, the whole work that it starts to compare with history, that it tries to, to, to make combinations to, to have the touch to the next second and future. So, life is something in move, even a still life or where nothing moves, you know maybe that the, the hidden part of life that you also try to, to bring in front, there is almost this energy of life and the process behind, beyond, and up, inside, it's on the way and I try to, to be in touch with all these kind of energies that floating around like we live in these times that internet information is really in the air, it's not more in the material. So I don't want to make the frame piece of art, I don't want to put it on a socket. It's in the air, it's in this atmosphere. And time is really important thing in it. Because a move can be a move that helps you to to have a still reflection. And I think that even when my first videos were really like just this little play with to speed it up or to slow down with the video to to make the visitor to ask the visitor into the easy image, but then there is like another rhythm, and so you feel that you you have to deal with an outer world where you can. And uh, the accidental thing is important. What is your life philosophy? Pardon? What is your life philosophy? Sorry, I was not. Uh, philosophy, your life. Yeah, the philosophy, uh, yeah. Well. Your philosophy for every day. What is your personal philosophy for your life? It should be like uh, an activity of 24 hours a day. If you do it not theoretically, now I'm reading some books, but it's also for yourself that you you behave towards things in a kind of ritual way that the important thing, the soul is also all the time part of, of your being. And the philosophical thing is not that I want to be philosopher because I'm, I'm not, but with this visual scene that I try to create all the time, not only for an exhibition, but like also in this home exhibition that I try to to open maybe next week to show that the inner life.